Mm. Hello, everyone. Thank you for interest in this presentation. My name is Fito. Uh, my presentation title is Structural Design Optimization of Composite Rotor Blades with Strength Considerations. Um, well, first, I would like to give an overview of this study. So uh, over the past few decades, Rotorcraft has demonstrated their versatility in both civilian and military applications. Uh, currently, many researchers are trying to design rotor blade with composites to improve the rotor craft performance. But their less attention are paid to take the strength of the material as a design factor. So this poses the material failure risk to the rotor blades. One of the reasons of the ignorance of the strength analysis is that the stress and failure analysis of composite structure uh, are very complicated compared to metallic structures. Uh, well, to take the strength into co uh, composite rotor blade design, so we plan to use WEBS, which is a variational asymptotic beam analysis code to calculate the blade cross-sectional properties, uh, recover local stresses and the conduct failure analysis. So we will integrate WEBS into an optimization framework to achieve the strength-based design. Well, here it shows the workflow of, the, uh, of conducting failure analysis to compute the uh, sectional uh, strength ratio with WEBS. So this analysis start with the rotor model. Uh, well, first we are able to capture the uh, load resultant from the comprehensive analysis or experiment. Then with a predefined um, cross section, we are able to recover um, the local 3D stresses at every integration points. Uh, next, WEBS um, failure index analysis uh, can be carried out so that we can solve all the strength ratio at all the integration points with a pre-selected failure criteria. And uh, finally, we can determine the uh, strength ratio of the cross-section by selecting the minimum value among all the strength ratios. Um, so this slide shows the details to integrate WEBS into the uh, optimization framework to achieve the uh, strength-based design. So this framework includes three major components. So the first one is the uh, Galaxy or Dakota component. Uh, it provides the optimizer uh, and the process control. So the second um, is the WEBS component. So it provides their cross-sectional and their failure analysis. And the last one is their uh, RKS or DIMO component. So this part will carry out the rotor craft comprehensive analysis. So for these three components, the Python scripts are used to, to do the um, data transferring under their analysis process implementation. So to demonstrate the functionality of the framework, we selected two examples. So the first example will conduct the uh, multi, multiple cross-sectional optimization analysis based on our uh, US-60 model. So this example is to design their cross-sections to match their beam properties without um, failing under fixed loading conditions. So since the load is fixed, then we do not need to carry out the comprehensive analysis for this example. Well, the objective is to uh, minimize the difference between calculated and the target beam properties. So the target beam properties are extracted from the um, Dimer UH60 validation example. So for this example, we will conduct two cases. So one will not enforce any constraint and the other um, will enforce a constraint that requires the strength ratio to be larger than a specific value. So here is the design um, parameters of a single cross-section. Um, so we, uh, for this example, we will design the, um, um, the box bar leading web and the uh, leading web and the trailing web location. We will also design the non-structured mass center under the corresponding size. And uh, finally, uh, we will also optimize the type of composite laminate, the fiber orientations for each ply and the number of plies um, uh, of the laminate. 
So at the blade level, then the uh, design parameters, uh, reference beam properties, and their section loads are all functions of a uh, radius of blade. Um, so for this example, we selected uh, four cross-section locations, and uh, they are shown on the bottom picture. And we use the linear interpolation function to interpolate their um, spar web locations, non-structure mass location, and their section loads. And we keep their fiber angle, um, laminate choice, and their non-structure mass size and their, uh, as constants along the blade. And the number of plies are kept as step function. So based on this uh, setup, then in total, we have 26 design variables at the blade level. So then here shows the optimization setup. So the objective is to find a set of design variables to match the uh, five beam properties. And the properties are shown on the, um, on, on the right. And we use the uh, weighted sum uh, method to form the uh, objective functions under the ways um, of the corresponding terms are shown here. Uh, then for the constraint, we require the strength ratio to be larger than one. And we use the uh, single objective genetic algorithm to carry out the optimization. So this is the results of the optimization. Um, the left picture shows the convergence plot. Um, as you can tell that this problem can convert to the optimum uh, results. And the right four pictures shows the constraints of the four cross sections. So these plots show that all of them satisfy the constraint. And the total number of evaluations are around 11,000. Um, the total evalu evaluation time is about two hours and 40 minutes, so which is very efficient. Then uh, this slide shows the uh, um, comparison of the beam properties. So from this plot, you can tell that um, both cases can reach their um, can reach an accurate op uh, optimization results as the as the errors are all within ten percentage. Um, in addition, we can also observe that the uh, case with failure constraint has obvious difference um, comparing to the case without constraint. So if we further uh, examine the cross-sectional strength ratios, we can, we can find that their um, unconstrained case has a strength, um, strength ratio smaller than one. So this indicates that the unconstrained case uh, could have their material failure under the predefined loading conditions. Therefore, um, the optimization with failure constraint is safer. Uh, for the second example, we optimize their blade plan form to maximize their total lift. So um, the workflow is shown on the right picture. In this uh, work, in, in this workflow, um, since we need to compute the air loads, then the dimer uh, will be used to, to compute their uh, lift under the load resultants in the blade. And uh, for the uh, design variables, we selected the dihedral angle of the root of the blade and uh, the uh, dihedral angle swift and the twist um, of the tip of the blade. So these design variables are um, shown in this picture and also summarized in the uh, bottom table. Um, so then um, two cases were studied in this example. So case one optimized the um, platform of the blade um, to maximize the lift without considering their uh, strength cons constraint. And their tech two, a uh, cast two takes the strength as a constraint. And the strength ratio of the blade was said to be larger than 2.2. Then uh, for demonstration purpose, we created a simplified root model in Dymo. Um, the model was assumed to have four blades with uniform blade cross section. And the cross section properties are used the results from the first example. Um, so then um, this table in the middle presents the uh, air properties. Uh, in addition, we also use the an airfoil table SC 1095 to compute the air loads. So you can find more details uh, on, of the model in our paper. And for the failure criterion, on uh, the bottom table summarize the strength of the material. Um, under the corresponding failure criterion, uh, it follows. 
So the bottom right picture shows the, an example of the failure envelope. So this results indicates that if a load, uh, lo if a load resultant is um, located inside the envelope, then this load is safe. Otherwise, uh, it is unsafe. So here is the result. Um, the top left picture shows the convergence um, of the optimization. And, uh, <clears throat> and you can tell that both cases can converge to an optimum results. Um, and in addition, this plot also indicates that the uh, case one tends to convert to a higher lifting force. Um, so this result is reasonable as case two has additional strength constraint. So which could limit the increase of the lifting force. And uh, this observation can be confirmed uh, in the right picture, which shows the comparison of the lifting force for the optimum cases for each scenario. And the optimum design variables and the corresponding lifts and the strength ratios are summarized in the uh, bottom table. So then uh, with these results, I can conclude my presentation. So for this work, uh, a new design by analysis framework for composite road place was developed through the uh, integration of tools for cross-sectional analysis, comprehensive analysis, and the optimization toolkit. And the second, um, the webs provides the accurate and the efficient computation of beam properties, stress on, and strength fields, and the failure indicators. Uh, it also offers the option to design composite structures with uh, strength consideration. And finally, uh, we also provided two examples to demonstrate the functionality of the framework. And the, both examples show that uh, it can be optimized to get the desired results. Okay, thank you for listening. Then I'll take your questions.